Showtime. There we go. We are boy. Showtime, boys and girls. Uh, oh, we get to it. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our live birthday bash and talking about whiskey and sherry, something yeah. we know very little about. We should uh, start off uh, saying that because we are just learning uh, sherry right now. So if we say everything wrong, then that's that's okay too. My alarm clock goes off. <laughs> there you go. All right, buddy. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. We got uh, Jason Coates. We got Donner Pass Whiskey. We got Jason Coates. And <laughs> Moose 76 is here. Thank God he showed up. Thank God. <laughs> Food oh, quick. Hey. Hey. From Tofino. Nice. That's got to be beautiful out there. Is this your annual camping uh, weekend, uh, Quick? Um, Indy Inga is here. Idaho. Um, yeah, Tofino is amazing. Like, granted, it, do you know what? It's really an honor that you're watching this while you're probably you're by one of the best ocean views in his like on the planet. So that's awesome. An honor for him. Yeah. <laughs> Christine <laughs> Daisy's here. Vegas Art is here. It's awesome. Good. Good. So, um. The reason this is our birthday bash is because uh, we both have our upcoming joint birthdays happening here very quickly. Yeah, that's right. My birthday is this week and yours is next. So we thought we might as well go live and chat it up with peeps because we didn't know if we'd get another chance before, uh, before the big day. Yeah, exactly. So, and this is also the first video that we've done where I'm back in my crib. Right, yeah. right. I think it is. It might be. Is it? Yeah, I think I think you're right. We ha we haven't gone live since um, the live stream with uh, Forty Creek Forty Creek with, <laughs> <laughs> as he prefers to be called. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. So tonight, um, well, you actually bought a bottle of sherry kind of randomly this last week, right? Yeah, I kind of I got this guy because I was just like. I just wanted something different and I had this bottle of bean stin as well. And I thought I want to see what it's like with a virgin Oak style cask and add my own element of sherry to it and see what happens. And this is a, this is an Oloroso nutty Solera it's called from uh, Jerez. And again, just to, just to uh, totally clarify, we do not know our sherry very well. We're learning it. And our Spanish is terrible. <laughs> I don't think Jerez is a place. I think that it means Jerry in Spanish. Oh, okay. Well, I thought it was great. How come it says, maybe it's just three different languages there. Look on the back of this. It says like Jerez, Xerez, and Sherry all in a row. So, Well, this, well, Wikipedia states, it says yeah. Sherry, and then in brackets, Spanish, Jerez or Juarez or whatever that word is. Yeah. And then that's it. So it's saying Sherry is Spanish and the word is Jerez, I think. So Juarez. again, this is we're like learning on the spot, but luckily our viewers probably have some information that we might not. So feel free to, to teach us. But it's definitely a, it's a good education because in reality, like when you're getting an ex Sherry cask. Uh, scotch, you know what the flavor is and you know what that mm -hmm. thing is about it that makes it a sherry style, but you, you don't really know until you start to experiment with these different styles of sherry. And we've discovered that there's so many styles of sherry. But hey, do you guys want to see my dry sack? <laughs> let's, let's see your dry sack. Everybody wants to see my dry sack, right? Here it is. Here's my dry sack. Oh, Nice. Um, so my dry sack that I brought today is a um, a distinctive blend of Palomino and Pedro Jimenez uh, grapes aged in oak cast. So I've got the PX, you've got the Oloroso, yeah. and <laughs> Jason Goats, better than your moist 
back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, true, true. Very well, true. well, we got to wait and find out when we drink it, but it might yeah. not be. Fair. Um, might be terrible. Um, and then I also got so you got Oloroso, I've got the PX, and then I picked up the Manzanilla. Yes, I think that's even the right pronunciation. Well, yeah, uh, two L's in Spanish make a Y, and I yeah, don't know if that's quesadilla. <laughs> quesadilla in point, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so my two bottles, however, say serve chilled. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I guess uh, those, um, P, is it, yeah, PX casks. Yeah, uh, and wines or whatever sherry's they're definitely more on the sweeter side, and you can have like an ice cube in them, and they say it's like good in the summertime and that kind of thing. So there's again another style of the sh of, of sherry's where mine is more like kind of nutty and <laughs> yeah, it's nutty. Dry sack. Are you saying my dry sack is nutty? <laughs> <laughs> I think so, but this one goes like well with like meats and different things like that. So wait, my dry sack is nutty. And it goes good with meats. What? Okay. Yeah, right. Right. okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. Um, okay, let's just get straight Be to. It. Let's just get straight to the facts. Sherry, yeah. Spanish Juarez, is a fortified wine made from white grapes that are grown near the city of Juarez de la Fontera so, in Andalusia, Spain. There you go. Oh. There's a city called Jerez. There it is. The pronunciation is just cringeworthy tonight. Um, sherry is produced in a variety of styles made primarily from the Palomino grape, which mine said a uh, blend of Palomino and Pedro Jimenez, uh, ranging from light versions similar to white table wines, such as Manzanilla and Fino, which we know Fino from uh, Cavalan yeah. and others, but Cavalan primarily, to darker and heavier versions that have been allowed to oxidize as they age in barrels, such as Amontillado and <laughs> Oloroso. Yeah, yeah. Sweet dessert wines are also made from Pedro Jimenez or Musc uh, Muscatel grapes and are sometimes blended with Palomino-based sherries. <laughs> That's a... That's a lot of words we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of bad pronunciation. Um, so basically, again, it kind of comes down to there's a lot of obvious, like sherries are aged for significant amount of times as well as not. And there's also, they, you said the floor, I think there, there's like, basically what it is is a, like a film, I think, of micro microbes that protects it from being oxidized and some of it floats down and that's something like an Oloroso sherry where it's a more of an oxidized version. Something like that. That's my understanding of it. I could be wrong. Please tell me I am. But that's along the lines of where, where it's at. There's two and a good. So there's... And okay. Jason <laughs> Carroll is first time catching this live. Who? Look at this. First time catching you live and quite new to the sherry game myself. Looking forward to it. Well, let's let's do this together then because... Uh, <laughs> let's drink something yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, so for tonight we were kind of discussing how to go about this and i was thinking why not pull out a couple of glasses and have it's like a control group you know we'll have a little bit of sherry in one a little bit of whiskey in the other and then the combo uh what <laughs> <laughs> just pour, pour sherry into one <laughs> Sherry in one, wi yeah. the whiskey of your choice in the other, and then the mix. Okay, so, okay. Um, and I'm so, gonna... I'll say mix. I, I've been experimenting with this a little bit. I think it's best to, uh, like, do a rinse almost in your glass. Don't tell me my business. It's just just a thought. Um, I'm going to start with the manzanilla because my manzanilla is 15%. Yeah. And it is, uh, I think they said that the, the PX was sweeter. So presumably this one's lower alcohol and not quite as sweet. So do you pour, do you pour a dram size glass? That's what I've been doing with it, yeah. 
And are you able to drink a dram and like multiple drams or how's that go? So far, yes, but I mean, I'm not madly in love with the stuff yet. But oh, this, is, this it, look how clear mine is. Yeah, totally. This is, is like from the white wine or whatever. Yeah, this is very, look at that. Look at the color versus yours. Cool. This is like that white table wine dealio. Yeah. So if you are aging your whiskey in a barrel from Manzanilla in that style, you're not going to catch a lot of color. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So that's kind of oh, maybe sometimes when people talk about sherry being a big influence on the color, it always it might not always be. This thing is like Welch's grape juice. Oh yeah. Oh, super Welch's. This is just like straight up like. So it's quite sweet, is what you're saying. It smells very sweet and like just like insanely grapey fruity. Hmm, interesting. Because this one, the uh, Oloroso here is um it's got like a kind of a sour nose to it but also kind of like there's a nuttiness to it and a bit peppery and you know it's what like, it's more savory it's sweet for sure the sweetness is there but you know what smell this has this smells like um plain yogurt like but before you you like fruit on the bottom, like yeah, yeah. you know when you eat the top first that has nothing on it, and you're like, yeah. oh, so it has that kind of like uh, cultured. Yes, I was I was struggling for the word, but I think that's the exact opposite of us. <laughs> exactly, at least something here tonight's cultured. <laughs> but yeah, it does kind of have that. It's like a like a sour mm. sour grape too for me, and also like. You can tell it's sweet, but oh, bad, bad news in California. Looks like the bears have the bears have started. Well, uh, Sean, we should mention this real quick. On our uh, island here and in British Columbia, we had crazy lightning uh, a couple nights ago that we've never like I've never seen lightning like that anywhere, and it was all over the sky, like spider lightning, and then like fork lightning over here, and it was all it was crazy. It was everywhere. It like was like seven to 12, 20 seconds. It was like a new thing. It's cool. To be clear, though, it was not bear related. No, but it did start some fires. So hopefully okay. the Shawnigan Lake bears don't uh, catch okay. wind. Yeah. Um, we do have a bunch of people that have have uh, have joined us that um, just saying hi to Electric Banana, our favorite uh, YouTube handle. Uh, Anuj M is here. Clayton Dick is here. Rarebird101, Chris Beaton, and uh, I don't think we said hi to Tim Dietrich yet, so uh, welcome, Tim Dietrich. Uh, okay, I got to pour this other one because that one is... Oh, I haven't even tasted it. Did you taste that? I haven't tasted it yet. Maybe just smell your other one first. Okay. 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 For smell impressions. And this is a, a bottle first opening, too. So another thing with uh, um, Sherry, which is nice is unlike wine, you can open it and keep it for quite a while. Like there's some that are up to like 36 weeks or whatever kind of thing. So if not longer, which is nice. And That's early like cherry in a decanter, you know? Whoa, this one has a cork. Ooh, cool. Okay, and just by the way. Speak of price, yours what? Yours twist off? It's a cork. This, this um, Manzanilla was a twist off and it was $25. And my dry sack is only about fifteen dollars, but it has the cork. Yeah, uncorking. Oh, nice beauty. Oh, this one smells richer already. Like, oh, I feel like I that's the PX cask, right? Yeah. Oh, and much darker. But I don't think this one's as dark. As, oh, maybe it is as dark as yours. Let's see here. I mean, our lighting's different, obviously, but yeah, close. Anyway, this has a, this is like a really dark, like almond skin kind of color to it, so it's quite like re ready. No, I'm more actually, it's more like a uh, uh, like walnut kind of shell or something, some kind of nut. Yeah. Um. 
This is a good point uh, right here. I, I smell mega hangovers. That stuff is sweet as hell. So that is a point that maybe go we go easy on the sherry <laughs> in the beginning, you know, when you're getting into it. Maybe. But. All right, let me nose back and forth. There's a cure-ish aspect to it as well. What the hell? So yeah, my, this, one's so, this one's more raisiny, right? So the PX is like a raisin and this is like a grape. That's the distinct difference to me. So one's a dried grape? <laughs> one's a grape and one's a dried grape. <laughs> we sure do know how to describe things. <laughs> um, like it almost has that like... This is a weird comment about grapes, but it reminds me of like the grape stem. Like, you know, when you, or yeah. not the grape stem, the raisin stem, you know, when you bite into a raisin, it's got a, like a little piece of that stem left and you're like, ah, damn it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> well, it's funny because this like reminds me of something that I would taste. Like, I feel like I've tasted it in cooking or like yeah. Yeah. baked goods and stuff like that. Just other things generally, right? Like, I like uh, it would totally be in a like a Christmas style cake oh. or whatever. Okay, Rarebird wants to know if the label says no color added, which I don't even know if I can read the label. But <laughs> uh, t -t 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 -t. well, it does contain sulfites. I don't know. I haven't heard too much about uh, sherry having color added because it's so naturally rich most of the time but oh it does they do they do add, i read i read that they do add color to it some of them some of them age in casks and some of them um add color to like give it that look mm. but this one the dry my dry sack is aged in oak casks but it doesn't say for how long yeah so like for me the the sherry selection at the liquor store where i was at uh Okay, here's an interesting thing. The sherry selection was like 10 bottles on one corner shelf. And then think about how many scotches have sherry in them. So like, is is the cask demand higher than the actual demand for sherry itself? Oh, probably, yeah. It's probably like half of this. Who knows what happens with it? I remember reading something somewhere, watching someone's video where they were talking about like, companies just making sherry basically to dump it out so that they could yeah. have the barrels. Yeah. For the scotch. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Makes sense. I mean, sherry, I think at one point was a really, um, well, a much more popular drink than it is today. Like in the, you know, like 1920s and stuff like that. I think people like it was, I think it was more associated with women for some reason. Yeah. And now it's like a grandma drink, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, let's, okay, let's try something here. I'm going to try light manzanilla first. Okay. So it arrives with, like, almost like a lemony sourness right on the end of your tongue. Mm -hmm. It's very, it's nowhere near as sweet in taste as it is in, in the nose. It's, um, yeah, it's, I mean, obviously, like, whiny is uh yeah. but it's also like it's really like dried fruit leather kind of stuff it reminds me of like for mine mine kind of does it's like a dried fruit leather but it does have that sour aspect that you're kind of mentioning but this is like this is very much like a, a style of a white wine this one here yeah okay like it's almost like sauvignon blanc ish from the perspective of like a little bit dry a little bit tart um but like fruity so it has that like not super sweet though not super sweet but it's um i don't know i guess it's like heavier in viscosity than a than a wine like a white yeah. wine but but it has a lot of the flavor characteristics and it's not too too uh much higher in proof either well it's only 15 percent, so yeah so and most wines are about in there okay now, okay, now I see why this one says serve chilled. Okay. Because I would, I drink like a Sauvignon Blanc, like nice and chilled, right? Yeah, for sure. 
and I could see, I wonder if I throw it on ice, if that's the same, or if I should actually just like chuck it in the freezer for a minute. Maybe I'm going to chuck this bottle in the freezer for a minute and like revisit it in a few minutes when it's like frozen out. I'll be back. I've, I've tried mine with ice and it's really quite good. Um, this one is definitely has a little bit more of that fruit leather and kind of prune, prune type, type aspect to it. Um, a little bit savory in places, but there's a overall it's quite sweet. I mean, it's syrupy and pretty dense, like the viscosity is all the way there. Mm. Okay, so yeah. I've, I've sorry, go ahead. <laughs> sorry, I've thrown it in the freezer here. Um, so I'm going to give it a few minutes and uh chill it out because I, I think it actually would be quite a bit better, um, real nice and cold. So, yeah, for sure, I agree. Mm. But like, I can drink a big glass of wine. I can drink a real nice full bottle of wine, like just crush it to my dome. Yeah. But I do not get the same kind of feeling from this, at least not yet. Yeah, yeah. Like I wouldn't want to just like guzzle back a bottle of this. No, I think m maybe that is the one that you could potentially like try the, try the other one here because who knows? Like I know I could not crush a bottle of this because it's, it's still sweet and it's thick and it's syrupy and like the viscosity is really big and uh, it's only 20% alcohol, which, you know, usually you can drink quite a lot of scotch or whiskey or whatever, but this, you know, I think they're right that it will give you a pretty big hangover. So this one, my dry sack is also supposed to be served cold, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes just straight off at room temp. Yeah. Okay. This is the, the PX which should be sweeter. And it definitely is. And this is immediately more kind of like what I was expecting and kind of like hoping for in a, in a sherry profile. Yeah. So it's, it's a little bit more like, like in, in re reality, one of my only experiences is Harvey's Brist Bristol cream. Um, and that's similar to what this guy's about. I mean, this one's also nineteen dollars, so it's not crazy expensive either. But yeah, Harvey's is in that um, seventeen dollar range, and 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 similar uh, characteristics to this one in flavor. I haven't tried them side by side, so maybe not. But it definitely you know sets that memory off. Mm. Mm. What about you on that that one? Is it more along those lines? Yeah, it's like real. I don't know if you can see it. Probably can't see it, but it's like really running down the, running down the glass, like just coating it and just like syrupy, like. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> uh. So yeah, I mean, th this is this is the flavor profile I kind of was hoping for, which is like, the sweeter, richer, heavier syrupy kind of like sherry that i'm you know more used to i guess yeah you, you can recognize the flavor from like a sherry single malt kind of thing yeah yeah, yeah I, I understand yeah. the the influence so speaking of that should that be our next uh our next move here yeah i'm thinking i'm gonna again i told said this earlier but i have the Deanston virgin oak and I thought it would be interesting to use a scotch with a virgin oak and kind of have your own sherry influence to it. So um, just for the control group aspect, I'm going to have sherry on this side. I'm going to have the Deanston in the middle, just a touch, just to smell the difference. And then I already have a tiny bit of sherry in this glass. You yeah. probably see it. And I'm just going to, Basically coat it, get it all around it. Cause my kind of, we were talking about this earlier. Like it's almost like when you have a sherry barrel, there's not a ton of sherry in it because it's, it's just slowly sucking in. So this is kind of like that layer that's surrounding the whiskey as well. Yeah. It's like on the perimeter and yeah. just. So, and then I'm going to pour just a little bit of the Dean's in that one. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of a, uh my dry sack into uh, this glass, yeah. 
Let me just say I can smell the scotch right now, and man, scotch is good. <laughs> I think we've established that previously. Yeah. I'm going to coat this glass up with some. See, Dramatator out. says you, you need to get a light bulb bigger than 15 watts. And it's so funny because it's so bright in here right now, but this camera is just not picking anything up. Let me see something. You just need a better camera. Yeah, I mean, I'm using a iMac from 2011. Okay, so I just drank the... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just I, just, now. I just drank the excess... Um, uh, PX from my glass, and I'm going to put some of the just the regular Glen Livet 12 in with my PX uh, because Glen Livet 12 is double oak, but it's European oak and American oak casks. So let's add some PX to it. Here we go. I wonder if they can consider a European oak, like actually cherry oak. <laughs> it's European. Yeah, I guess. Um, so you added sorry, Glenn Livet. Glenn Livet twelve to my PX. Okay. So, so I'll do a, do a little glass of sherry too. Okay, so I got my Glenn Livet control over here. Move out of the way, Manzanilla. No one likes you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So yes, yeah, so I have the three. Groups as well. I've got straight up Sherry, Glenn Livet 12, and then the PX Glenn Livet. Yeah, I mean, honestly, smelling between the three, you, it's an, in, like, I smell this Deanston as just by itself. It's amazing. It's really good. But then smell it with a touch of, like, literally a drop or two. And it's a big difference. You know what? It's Glenn Livet 12 smells really good. <laughs> That's what I thought when I had this Deanston. And then smelling with the drop, it's like, it doesn't ruin it or anything. You know what I did where oh, so, I, <laughs> I got to switch glass. I got to put my my PX Glen Livid into a Glen Karen because I'm working on a different glass where it's not, yeah, yeah. not cool. It's not cool, man. Okay. Okay. So now let me try the nose. Let's see here. I might not have used enough PX because I don't really I smell much. But a drop in there. Well, maybe I'll just try them first. Okay, regular glint of it. Okay. Okay. PX to Glen Livet. Hmm. Hmm. I can't really taste any difference. <laughs> <laughs> Real big build up. Um yeah, the same. <laughs> Let me put now now I'm going to just get ridiculous with it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why don't you pour another drop? Oh, that's your sherry right there? Yeah, so I just put in like a a generous portion in here. Yeah. Not ridiculous, but generous. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. now I can now I can smell the sherry big time. It's gonna have some influence now. Yeah. Hmm. It actually kind of mellowed it out quite a bit. Hmm. Like mm. mellow scotch. Yeah, it kind of mellowed out the like vapors of the Glen Livet, and then it just kind of sweetened it up. So For sure, it kind of makes sense in a way because like technically you're pouring a a lower proof into a higher proof. I'm watering it down, really. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I think the just the sweetness of cherry would round out those flavors. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is very this is, uh, training CTV live twenty four seven. 
<laughs> it'd be dead after two days. Yeah, like I don't know how uh, Scotch Test Dummies do the, uh, what is it, 12 hours of boom or whatever? I We'd be dead. Yeah, and I guess they do it by having breaks. Yeah, we still wouldn't make it, I don't think. <laughs> I, I think we should have a marathon where uh, we try to play um, Centurion or whatever it's called. Oh. Like a shot of beer per minute. That was the last time I threw up. And we'll just try to raise as much money or something as we can and donate it to, I don't know, there's tons of terrible shit out there. But COVID. We'll, we'll donate it to COVID. Whatever. Kittens. I'd say kittens is a better cause. <laughs> Anyways. Um, and then, we'll because it will take us only one hour. But I don't think we will make it through the full hour. No, it takes you a hundred minutes. Sorry, a hundred minutes. So whatever that is, like an hour and a half, hour and forty-five. What is that? It's an hour and forty minutes. Yeah, there you go. So that's not that long. <laughs> Shouldn't have taken you three tries to get that. <laughs> I don't do math. Oh fuck. Um, I think the most McKellen stuff now is in seasoned sherry barrels, meaning they put some sherry. In, a, in an oak barrel for a bit, then dump it and put scotch in. Oh, okay. Oh, no. so it's really fr it's more fresh than it, having a chance to soak out of it. Well, they're also cheapening the process, right? And they're yeah. right. quickening it up. That too, yeah. Cheapening and quickening. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try my uh, sherry by itself again. Just nosing it. It uh, smells a lot like sherry. Brown sugars. Sweet, sour, okay, Deanston. What I love about this Deanston oak is you can really smell like the virgin oak on there, but it's really well done. Like I think Deanston in general just makes good whiskey so far from what I've tried. Anyway, it is hard to get that better, I would say. This is good news, We're, this is breaking news. Oh, wow. <laughs> breaking news on Trinity and CTV. You heard it here first. Okay, um, I'm gonna put a and light on. I'm gonna go to the mix product, <laughs> and it is significantly different than my nose. Mm. Like this is a little spicier and peppery compared to this. Is I guess we talked about it earlier. Just kind of like it like dumbs it down and sweetens it up. <laughs> That's good. Just the way I like my women. Yeah, <laughs> but it's uh, buttered up a little bit too. A little bit of butter in there. I'm going to put the light on out here. Let me know if it's better or worse or whatever. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. More than anything, it just brightens up your couch. It'll probably just brighten up my forehead. Ah, that's pretty good. That's okay. Whatever. It's something. It's like right over top of my head, which. I'm going to taste the, this mixture. Oh, sure. I like it. I think, uh, I guess you can be the judge because you have the blends there, but it might be a good way to, you know, really boost your blended scotches. <clears throat> okay, 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 oh, okay. So let's try, let's try. A famous, well-known and well-loved Johnny Walker Red Label with some, with some, uh, some PX added to it. I'm kind of done with this experience this experiment. I'm just going to crush both of these. Okay. I think it worked with the Glenlivet experiment with a uh, different whiskey, right? My, yeah. My final answer on Glenlivet was it actually brought out this interesting orangey flavor to it. Mm. So, cool. I don't know what that means. And that's the manzilla or whatever? <laughs> <coughs> oh, that was the PX. Oh, okay. Because what does... What, isn't there like manzanilo and that means orange in some some language? Stuff like that. I haven't seen that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'm just thinking Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean a Mandarin orange? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I said. Okay, let's put a little bit of this PX drizzle, McDrizzle, for drizzle. So that's the PX? 
I'm PXing my uh, my Glen Karen, and then I'm gonna put some uh, red Johnny Walker red in there. Whoa! And do you, have, do you have your control group Johnny Walker red? I'm out, almost out of glasses here, so. Yeah. I'll, but that's fine. I will. I'll use this glass for a control. If it's slightly better than terrible, then I know it worked. Ah, I poured too much. <clears throat> okay. Next, we should add more sherry to an already sherried scotch. Let's see if that does anything. That sounds good. I don't have as much stuff, so I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, okay. But we, did, we didn't talk about what I got for my birthday bottle. We'll talk about that after. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Stay tuned for that exciting yeah. moment later. Um, we should also yeah. mention that we're giving away an Ardbeg Beastie. Mm. We are. Not tonight. Um, if you sign up for our Patreon before the end of September, you're entered. Yeah. You're entered in this thing. Only a singular buck will get you entered in for a Ardbeg Beastie, um, which we will draw. Uh, right at the beginning of October and uh, <clears throat> which is only like six weeks away. So yeah. get in on, get in on that. And, and um, odds are very good. Yeah. Because <laughs> we, we just shipped out a couple of bottles of 40 Creek from our live stream two weeks ago with uh, 40 Creek, Chris. And yeah. um, we just, we've been steadily giving away bottles. Okay. Oh, Food Quick says, I like manzanilla olives with my charcuterie plate. That's well, what I was thinking. Well, the la dee da. Oranges. Olives, not oranges. They both start with a no. Yeah, you were close. Yeah. Super close. That reminds me, I once had a boss named Sherry. What a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Johnny Walker, red with px yeah it's fine, it's fine <laughs> put a little more in there i didn't really taste that much didn't taste much of the sherry <clears throat> no not really hmm. let me try the control johnny Okay, super plain, super soft. Here we go again. Mm. Oh, that was big time, Sherry Bomb. Sh -sh 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 sherry Bomb. Mm -hmm. um, sweetened it up, made it super grapey. I probably overdid it. Maybe if I add a little more Johnny Walker, I can find that delicate balance. That must be an interesting thing is like finding that balance of how long to keep the scotch in the sherry barrel to have the right influence. I guess they have to kind of like keep tasting it and, and testing, right? They probably just do what we do right now. Don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. more pop in there. Rinse your glass out. Yeah, that's about right. What's that? Equate that and that's what we'll do. Um Food Quick says every time you guys set up a deal where the public can win something, I already have a bottle. Yeah, but why not have two? Exactly. Drink one, save one. Whiskey Throttle is here. Whiskey Throttle. Hey, Whiskey Throttle. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. If you're, if you're just joining us, we've imparted a ton of Sherry-related knowledge on everyone. Uh, oh, we've really blown God. people away with our knowledge. And um, right now we are just experimenting with um, adding sherry, different types of sherry. Trenny has Oloroso at his house. I've got uh, PX and Manzanilla at my house. And we are just uh, uh, tinkering with things. Yeah. And uh, so far, it's pretty interesting. It's, it's a lesson in life that you need to learn. <laughs> Moose, he's like, 
What planet is C on where the sun is still shining? <laughs> yeah, look at, I don't know if you can see on my back window, but you can kind of see yeah. it's a little bit bright. Yeah, we yeah. live in uh, Planet Victoria. Planet right. Victoria. Yeah, as long as you're not downtown, this is a very beautiful place. Mm -hmm. As long as you're not beautiful too, just not certain streets and areas. Yeah, just not Beacon Hill right now. Which is too bad. It's like the most beautiful place in Victoria and one of the biggest tourist attractions. It's like yeah. putting, it's like setting up camps at uh, Butch Art Gardens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, why would you do it there? <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, now I just dumped a bunch in the Johnny Walker Red. Trying to even it out. Um, and I'm going to just mix my two together now. That's Dean Sting going into my one with a little bit of sherry. And I put my sherry in the freezer also. So that might help a bit. Good time. Good time, Spiller. Hey, whiskey's uh, liquid gold, liquid sunshine. That's right. Sunshine in a glass. Yeah. So uh, yeah. also if you're just joining us, you know already before joining us that this is our incredible birthday celebration weekend because we share a birthday month, end of month kind of dates there. Um, and uh, so C bought those two bottles of sherry. I did. With, with For his birthday present. And yeah. I bought myself something completely unrelated. Boom. That's a legend in its own right. Like this is, I just love this stuff. I do have one issue with it, but it's, it doesn't really matter because it just tastes so bloody delicious. My issue is that it's bottled at 40%. Yeah. And I mean, it's amazing. So whatever. Yeah. I, and I mean, it's the one that you crave, right? It is. I crave this stuff. And it's not crazy expensive for a 15 year old whiskey. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the, the birthday cheers. Okay, um, yeah. on to this whole like kind of sherry experiment. Get experiments getting a little old, to be honest. With yeah, <laughs> kind of already on. over. That's why I pulled up this guy because I'm gonna move on. Like, I, I don't. Want, it's been half an hour. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> well, I think it's it's true. You could sit down with it and try to like really experiment and figure it out and figure out if it really does enhance the whiskey that you already have at home, but probably not. Like they're <laughs> that's they're what we're doing as themselves. What's that? I said that's what we're doing. Yeah, I know, but like for people that are wanting to try it, does it really add anything? I mean, it. I think, I think whiskey makers who are smart people and have experimented and learned for years and generations know what they're doing. You and me dumping a bunch of sherry from glass to glass is not the same thing. Oh, oh, hundred percent. I don't think, uh, like, I love sherried whiskeys, and when they're you know done by the professionals, it's awesome. When it's done by training and see, just by buying a cheap bottle of sherry and adding a couple of drops. It doesn't, you know, like you can kind of do that with like an art bag and add like an ounce to a bottle of a blend and it makes the blend way better. Where this, I don't think you can, yeah? Exactly. Well, uh -huh. He said, see, your old bitch boss probably wanted your dry sack. You're right. She was probably after my dry sack. This whole time. This whole time. Um, I don't know what it is about that bottle, but it looks cheap for some reason to me. Yeah, well, the other one looks cheaper, to be honest with you. It's like white paper. It's yeah, like, true, true. Um, this one's at least 19.5%. I'm 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 going to go get the chilled one now and see. It could be just that it's called dry sack that it makes it seem cheap. <clears throat> yeah, this could be the problem. There's got to be a reason. I guess, is a dry sack one of those, um, like, old leather cowhide decanter things, like a canteen? Um, I think you should go on the internet and look up images as dry sack and see if you... <laughs> on, on the, uh, on the BBC. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look and see if you can find a dry sack on the internet. I think I'm going to type that in dry sack. 
see what happens. <laughs> Google images, see what you get. <laughs> oh, there's, I guess that's like what hikers bring everywhere is a dry sack. Oh, well, okay. So we actually did figure it out then. That's probably Maybe. what it's about. That's probably what it's about. Hold probably on. Probably all about like hiking the grapes up oh. in a dry sack or something like that. Or it's about your testicles. Yeah. It's one of the two. Oh, <laughs> what's the, who's the company on that? Is it uh, William and Humbert Dry Sack? Williams Humbert Dry Sack. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's nearly 130 years old, that company. There you go. Um, <laughs> and it's renowned Dry Sack is one of the world's most popular sherries. There you go. Interesting. It's definitely better than the other one. In my humble opinion. Um, I'm going to crush some of this and then bring out the chilled bottle. I need to do a glass rinse. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's not bad. I'm trying to figure out what the whole dry sack thing means. Just keep going on Pornhub and look it up. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I think I've seen it explained on there before. <laughs> well, like I said, on the BBC. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Fuck. yeah, yeah. I'm going to try, my, I'm try my chilled sherry now. I'm going one more, one more head-to-head -head of yeah. Manzanilla versus px cask px oh did you get the chilled one mm -mm. pretty good manzanilla yeah the manzanilla is just like drinking white wine okay so, so i don't know if this is dry sacrilege but right. I'm gonna put an ice cube in it too. Okay. Um, I'm gonna quickly do a glass. I'm gonna do a quick glass rinse. Okay. Uh, try not to lose all of our viewership while I'm gone. Oh, if I stay silent, it should be okay. <laughs> yeah. Just don't move. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. We got the uh, Gonzalez Bias. Jerez, Sherry, uh, chilled now, and in a glass with an ice cube. Um, why don't you guys tell us your your thoughts? Have, have you guys had much experience with Sherry besides relating it to whiskey? Do you genuinely like it? Is it something that you would spend money on? Is it something worth putting away? You know, that kind of thing. Um, Food Quig's got a video coming out. That's cool. Check that out. It's going to be public this morning. Um, no pants in a sandstorm equals dry chapped sack. That's true. Anyway, okay, I'm going to try this chilled. I mean, do you know what? It's 32 degrees out right now. Well, not right this second, but it has been in the hottest times of the day lately. And uh, it's pretty damn hot here at night. And with an ice cube, this is definitely a nice, like, summer, summer style sipper. But it's funny, like, the, the ice seems to, um, like, really make it more sour. Like, it's a little bit more bitter sour compared to how it is without ice. And actually it's kind of, it's interesting, like some funkier notes are coming out of the nose. Like the save, more savory kind of notes, like almost a little bit cheesy in a way. Hmm. Interesting. But in a way, I kind of like that the 
Ice Cube is adding a water element to it, which gives it a different flavor as well. Okay, I'm back with a, a stupid experiment idea. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, so my manzanilla is now nice and chilly from the freezer. It was in the freezer for probably close to half an hour, 20 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna pour freezer manzanilla in one glass and then I'm gonna pour freezer manzanilla with ice. Yes. And then get ready for the hangover. Oh yeah. It's very much just like it's this one is just a lot like a white wine. It's not really that different from just drinking a white wine, to Ooh, be honest. That's such a different vibe compared to what I'm drinking right now. Oh yeah, but totally different from the my dry sack. Yeah. <laughs> It would be. It really would be. God, purchasing this bottle for the name alone is like the values in the name. Yeah, absolutely. It's <laughs> only real, really. Okay, here we go. Um, uh, manzanilla from the freezer. Definitely way better than it was when it was room temperature. Yeah, I gave my analysis when you were gone, so I want to see what you have to say. Now on ice. Manzanilla on ice. Here we go. Yeah, this is one of those ones where it's like the colder the better. Yeah. I oh. kind of found like it was on first sip, it almost like had a little bit more of a a sour like the sourness is there more. Or oh, something. Awesome. Like awesome. it's brighter, it's just brighter. But on the nose. On this one, anyways, like some of the more funkier notes are coming out. I think it might be the water melting into this. Like it's like a little oh. bit more easy and like I don't know. There's something different about it, like a sourdough or something. Anyway, yeah. This the water is like <clears throat> the, even the melting ice on this one. It can't handle it. It cannot handle it because it's it's already only fifteen percent. Like it's right. It, and this 20% it works. It's pretty refreshing. Well, that's what this one is like. Uh, it's more of like a refreshing cocktail now because it's... Like, well, I was going to say, like, I think uh, sherry, I've tried some cocktails where I didn't really know what they were. And the ingredient that's always good is like an ounce of sherry or something or a half, like even a quarter ounce of sherry in it. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, Seinfeld's uh, cinnamon theory. Like, what was that? That like anytime someone thinks something is good, like the secret ingredient is always cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> talking about how it should be in a shaker at the table. Like Oh yeah, right, 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 right. Why isn't there cinnamon at the table? Yeah. I remember that. Was that was that comedians in cars or was that no, actual that was yeah. Oh, okay. did, did you watch comedians in cars? I watched a couple. I haven't really watched a lot though. Some of them are pretty good. Yeah, I watched like the Norm Macdonald one. Yeah. And I watched I watched the Jimmy Fallon one and I just don't really like him all that much. So but it was still okay. So what do you think? Should we should we wrap up this um sherry uh themed episode and instantly come back with a uh to be deleted in the morning episode? Oh sure. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Because then we can at least that episode. I'll, I'll uh, well, I've opened it already, but I'll get into the wisest team. Okay, well, it's been fun, everyone. We are going to end the sherry episode here. You've probably learned nothing, um, but you know, maybe you maybe you had a decent time. Uh, we are going to be right back in like two minutes uh, with a new live stream that will be deleted in the morning. So um, <clears throat> y'all come back now. Or just, we'll yeah, stick around or whatever. Yeah, we'll be All right back. See you in a minute.